unfortunate state in Tamil Nadu where the Dravidian politics, politicians who think they are big, who run big parties here, they wanted to poach from BJP and grow their party. That only shows BJP is growing in a very fast way. We were expecting this to happen because it is not easy for BJP to grow. Once you grow, they'll start attacking you. You have to withstand that, then you have to grow because the growth has to happen in phases here. It is a sign of BJP's growth. Some three, four people have gone and joined. Likewise, you have seen some uh, four or five people from ADMK have come and joined in the press meet also. It is an ongoing issue where people will join, people will leave. Whoever finds wherever they get a green pasture, they will go. We can't stop them also. I don't want to stop them also. The party will grow with ideologically committed workers. I think he's looking at the mirror and talking about himself. Stalinji is looking at the mirror and whatever he has spoken today, is looking at the mirror and talking about himself. Because Stalinji has to see the previous speeches given by his leaders about India, about secession, about Tamil Nadu being a Dravidistan, including his ideological mentor, uh, they wanted a Dravidistan state. Then about different MPs speaking in parliament. I think if Stalinji is sitting in his home theatre and watching all these videos, he will clearly understand whatever he has spoken today, he just looked at the mirror and spoke to himself, number one. Number two, we all know DMK by its blood is a divisive party. That's how the party has grown in Tamil Nadu from 1967 when they were in power. And alleging BJP clearly shows Stalinji has accepted BJP as the principal opposition party in Tamil Nadu. And for uh, many friends who haven't seen his previous speech, he said that he is not getting sleep. When somebody asked him why, you DMK fellows are doing so much galata every day, how will I get sleep? So his loss of sleep, BJP is not responsible. DMK cadres are responsible who are doing atrocities on an everyday basis. So I would say, through MK Stalin, our girl, respectfully, was watching the mirror and speaking because it is an advice for his own self, not for any other person in Tamil Nadu.